The autoimmune field actually is quite young. The problem of the AT autoimmune disease is that they are distributed in different subspecialties, subcategories. Let's take, let's take the Crohn's disease of the intestine. The gastroenterologists take care of them. Multiple sclerosis, the neurologists take care of them. Systemic lupus erythematosus, the rheumatologists take them. But actually, those who are knowledgeable in the field, they will realize that all these diseases are the same. The fact that they affect one tissue or organ, it's just misleading because the causes of all autoimmune disease are the same. The reason is, or the, dif the reason for the differences is how the pebbles of the causes of the environmental factor which trigger the disease or the genetic preponderance, how they differ from one to the other. Therefore, it's not surprising that in the same family you can find a mother with multiple sclerosis, a daughter with systemic lupus erythematosus, and the son with pemphigus vulgaris, a classical skin autoimmune disease. But moreover, we talked about the treatment. It has been found during the last decade or two that if you have a good therapy for one disease, immediately you can apply it for the other diseases, just alluding to the idea that the mechanism of all the diseases are the same. And therefore, we are pushing to define and develop a new subspecialty called autoimmunity. Actually, we practice this issue or this, what we um, uh, profit here, uh, in our Center of Autoimmune Disease in the Sheba Medical Center. We have a big center, Center of Autoimmune, in which we see together with the neurologist, hepatologist, nephrologist, all the patients. We have two units of daycare to treat the patient with the same therapies, but one may be multiple sclerosis, the other one can be systemic lupus. We have a service lab which does all the diagnostic procedure the auto for all autoimmune diseases. And we have also a research lab. Luckily enough, after we have founded this center about two, or two years ago, there were another 13 centers all over the world which actually characterize, characterize themselves as very similar to ours. And there are 669 small units which are in network with us because they would like l to learn from our experience, to exchange knowledge, to exchange physicians, and to exchange patients between us to help each other. And they are connected through the website and the network of Kenneth International. Needless to say that all of them participate, lecture, exchange and knowledge also in our meetings wherever they are, being the big international or the regional ones, etc. So the importance is in the, f the way that we are now defining, we are founding actually, a new subspecialty which is called autoimmunity.